All right, first pie guy here. This is a uh, Wi-Fi antenna that I made. Um, there's other videos and articles and stuff about it, but I figured I'd try to make one myself. So I used a piece of 5 16 all thread, six and a half inches long, and uh, the nuts there. Um, I just have it temporarily mounted to a uh, little mini camera tripod but uh, as you can see <clears throat> these three circles here are uh, 37 millimeters this guy here is 38 millimeters and then uh, this guy here is 54 millimeters. This one here is 68 millimeters, 68 millimeters. And the big one here is 90 millimeters. And between these two is 10 millimeters. And between these two is 11 to 12 millimeters. And these here can be anywhere from 28 to 32 millimeters so I think I just went with 32 in between all of them so it makes it kind of even now your all thread might be shorter depending on the width of the nuts that you use I'm using obviously some big hardware here not very necessary to use this biggest stuff but I had it around so I figured why go and get new so with that being said the SMA connector that I'm using is an actually an SMA. It's not an RP SMA. Um, it's a little bulkhead type. And as you can see, in between there, the center conductor is soldered to the second piece. The shield is soldered to the big piece. So it's kind of hard to see there. So you could always just use maybe a, you know, a connector or some sort off of a Wi-Fi antenna to come up with kind of the same thing. I had these around, so I figured I'd just use it. So I, I'm just going to have to get a uh, SMA to uh, RP SMA adapter, which I have one coming. To test this out but uh, but that's it I'll have the dimensions and whatnot on my uh, website and I'll throw a link in the description for that so but that's it didn't take too long you just got to be careful cutting out the circles I used a piece of uh, uh, forget the size of it off the top of my head but uh, it's on my website but this is what's left over after I cut it out I I was able to use a pair of scissors cutting this out so you know it is pretty stiff but it's not stiff enough that you can't use maybe a pair of good sharp scissors or 10 snips would definitely be the way to go sheet metal shears or something so uh, but that's it folks once I get the adapter, I think I'll have it here soon. I'll uh, maybe do another video of it uh, in the works and see what it can do. So, all right, thanks for watching.